And for the purpose of this, I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit all my videos I've always done. So you're gonna open Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a footage which was shot in 120 frames per second. So I'm just gonna drag down to the timeline. And there we go. So now if I play this back, you're gonna see that it plays in real time. So you could easily go by right clicking the footage and going to speed duration and simply bring it down to 50%. 50% will give you slow motion. And there you go. It's a bit choppy, but this is slow motion. You can see the playback. Okay. So now another way, Control Z, I'm gonna use Control Z to undo this. Now, another way which I do flow motion, which is easier if you're working with a large number of clips, is come down here to the project panel and right click on the clip and go to modify. And from modify, you click interpret footage. So now, since we're working with 120 frames per second footage, this footage was shot in 120 frames, we'll bring it back down to our normal frame rates, which should be ideally 24, which is what I shoot normal stuff in. So 24 frames per second, put that there and click OK. And once you do that, you can, I don't know if you notice this, but the footage has been modified. So let's play it back to see what that does. You can see this is much more smooth and it doesn't hug the CPU, it plays smoothly. This is 120 frames per second. And that is how to achieve slow motion effect. This is one of the easiest ways I've found to make slow motion footage, especially when you're working with a large number of clips. Project panel, right click, modify, interpret footage, 24 frames per second, okay. There you go. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching this and subscribe if you like this sort of content. See you next time.